What's up, peep squad? It seems like Tamar really don't want to ruffle any feathers when it comes to David because who knows who he is capable of and what he might do to her too as well. He then already filed a restraining order and he wants his 30 grand for the damages Tamar has done to his core too as well. But the sister Tawanda and Tony Braxton came out here swinging for Tamar, but Tamar still doesn't want her sister to defend her. And that's why her sisters were not defending her when David was out here wiling out. So let's listen to to Tamar basically tell her sisters to stand back and stand down. Lord have mercy. Let's get into it, baby. Lee, and be able to tell my story when I feel the need to tell my story. So everybody involved, thank you. I love you. But I would like to heal in private. Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Peep Squad is in the building, baby. So let's get into it. Let's talk about Tamar Braxton, Tony Braxton, and Tawana Braxton, and David, baby. It is going down. It's about time that they let the world know that David ain't nothing but a slithering snake that slithered his way into Tamar Braxton life just to get fame, baby. He ain't nothing but a user, and he tried to isolate Tamar from her family, which he tried to portray on the show that he wanted her family to be close to her. He was trying to get her all isolated by himself so he can take over he can take over her life he can take over her accounts he can take over being logan's father he's out here doing too much and the sisters that finally came out and said something baby it's about time but i think they got the okay from tamar and they know the relationship between david and tamar is over so they are speaking up and speaking out baby but let's get into this situation where tamar was chilling with her sister Tony Braxton for her birthday and they were singing baby let me tell you Tamar was singing her ass off yo for real for real she had it going on and she left a beautiful post about her relationship with her sister and they got each other's back and Tamar said that she has Tony's back when it comes to Birdman cause believe me you gonna need her back in her front when it comes to Birdman and so therefore it seems like Tony Braxton returned the favor she has something to say about David and she let it be known she posted at this baby she's saying david ain't ish and he ain't gonna never be ish and he ain't nothing but a weasel he's a ferret and you are beyond contempt once again do not include my children and your shenanigans please leave my family alone they're begging david to go away to stay away because he is nothing like a tumor he is just a shame it's just all oh, downright disgusting how he tried to betray himself on tamar get your life like he's this christian man he's this good man his sister out here saying this and saying that that they are conservative and they're very opinionated like please miss me with that take your brother and move him somewhere else because he has burnt his bridges here baby and we don't want nothing to do with david we don't hear want to hear nothing about david but let me tell you tamar was singing the hell out of tevin campbell's song can we talk for a minute baby i was like lord have mercy she was singing that song mm-hmm and Tony Braxton was in the car and you can just see the relationship. You can see the happiness in Tamar, the way that she sung. She sung with happiness. She sung with pride. She sung from the gut. She sung from the soul, baby. And David knew it. And so that's why he's out here doing his shenanigans and trying to come at the Braxton family because Tamar has moved on. She realized that you ain't ish and you have no more control, no more power over her. You go ahead, Tamar. Do the damn thing. Handle your business, baby. Because she looked like she was pure and peace and happiness and that is far from what you see from the show Tamar get your life with David she looks miserable she's in contempt she's just basically losing it on TV because David wants to control every minute of it he makes her feel like she is insignificant and she has to dance to the beat of his drum he don't dance to the beat of nobody's drum so it ain't fair and he and his family don't compromise at all so therefore he needs to stay single the way he is unmarried at 50 and no children at 50 it is what it is it's like low down dirty but we got Tawanda she comes in and she steps up for her sister too as well and she makes sure that it is known that David ain't nothing but an F boy baby <laughs> yes Tony is okay she's just really pissed off at yeah. David as we all are uh, we don't appreciate or I guess um, agree or condone the way that he's handling the situation it's just is even deeper than you guys can even imagine so, y'all only know the surface of it that's it so yeah. for tony to even say something and to post it on social media because you know she never does anything like that um 
you know he's gone way too far. Yeah. And, you know, like she said, you don't involve the children. We don't care what happens or how we may disagree or agree to disagree. You never involve the children. And David went over the line when it comes to that. You know, so. Somebody said, drop David's address, please. I can't do that. <laughs> But I would say, yeah. my words is that I believe that he's a loser boy from the Bruder to the Tudor. And if I'm calling somebody a loser boy, I mean him. Yeah, she mean that. She mean that. Look, Kiki, Kika Nunu Moo said, Tony is private, so I knew it had to be. So you already know Kika Nunu Moo Noon too. That ain't even her name. And listen, she's a friend of the families, and I've known her forever, forever, ever, but forever. You, but you adding letters and, and words. Kika Nunu Moo too. Yeah, that's not even her name. I guess what I call it. Guess what I call it here. Kika Nunu Mutu. Uh, cool, cool. I always call it that. Kika Nunu. Somebody get Brian on the phone. Oh, Lord. Let's cancel, David. I ain't get your text, Key. She hitting the wrong number. This, you know I changed my number. And let me tell you something. The person who has my number is off the damn chain. <laughs> Because she mad. She first of all, not only is she mad, she texting people back. What? Yes, Marie says she called her back and said what? And said this isn't to want. You know, all of that. So yeah, you know, calling me That's while I'm on here. Tony her. Hey Tony, get on, get on live so we can talk to Tony. Am I so accepting Brandon back? Talk to her. She keeps calling me because she kept calling like forty times. Why yeah, she's just, it's just whack. Is Tamar and Logan okay? Tamar, Tamar and Logan good. is good. good. Just keep us, you know, just keep them in your prayers. You know what I mean? She, she called me back too. Let's see? Let's see. Not Tony calling while y'all. Yeah, she called me twice. Three times, actually. It might yeah. have been three. Somebody text Tony to get on live. Yeah. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys. We love you. Make sure you go to T Braxton Skincare. Yes, I'm gonna plug. Yes, I'm always plugging. T Braxton Skincare at dot com. Um, I'm sleepy, and, um, y'all. I'm sleepy too, baby. Let's go home. Let's go home. Get in the bed. Yeah, let's play footsies. Footsies. We play footsies every night. That's an old my, game. Can I put my booty on you? Always. Her booty always stay on me. You like it though. Oh yeah. It's not. It's always warm. It's always warm and it's soft all the time that's a kiss online no when we get it. oh absolutely so listen um oh well, somebody just said something and thank you braxton f values for I, braxton f values like everybody thank you guys so much for always supporting the braxtons and you know having our back you know what i mean um yeah fresh porn Mario talking about fresh corn on <laughs> Man, you got me out here being loud this so, restaurant. I gotta go because Tony called me three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. So pretty soon he, she gonna call you looking for me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Lord have mercy when it rains, it pours. David done showed his true colors out here in these streets, baby. So he must be out here trying to harass the Braxton family. He must be sending text messages around to different blogs. He must, uh, you know, text message Tony Braxton or he posted something that was out of this world. And David is basically trying to terrorize this family. He wants to bring Tamar down. Ain't you happy enough, David? You filed a restraining order. You got a restraining order. Why are you coming after Tony Braxton and her child? Why are you doing that? You're talking about you're not here for the mess. You're not here for the drama. But it seems like everything that you're doing is about the drama. You don't want to be a TV star. You don't want to be on TV. But yet you on Tamar. Get your life controlling the show. Talking about you're not going to be on the show. If Vince is on the show. And you don't want Goldie on the show. Like basically it's your show. Like you a star. Like you are somebody baby. You ain't nobody. Only body that you are somebody to is your family. That think that you are God gifts. And baby you ain't a gift to nobody. You are a bag of 
of sand, a bag of dirt. And then on top of that, you're also muddy too as well and low down and dirty. And you know what you did and you know what you've been doing. You knew the blogs was going to pick up that restraining order and do all that. You knew that you was going to try to bring her down. You want to press charges against her. You, you want to sue her to get your 30 grand. You're going to get your 30 grand. Leave her alone. Leave Tony Braxton alone. Leave their family alone. You got a little piece. You got a little sniff of the Braxton family and their life. And now you want to be a part of it. Now you want to be a media sensation. Now you want to be on YouTube. Now you want to be on Instagram. Now you want to be on the shade room. And you're just out here telling the business and doing the most. It seems like you want to be on TV. It seems like you want to be a star. It seems like you wanted the fame. And that's the only reason why you wanted Tamar. And that's why you was out there with Logan, baby filming and everything else so therefore you can say oh look i'm a good man i am with tamar's at home and she is getting well and she is getting better and i have logan out here with me like lord have mercy you're doing way too much like lord like back back you've been with tamar for like two and a half years and that's the first time that you see we seen david out with logan by himself on instagram because now he's seeing the power of trying to be a star because he's on we tv you better back up and have two have have six, have several, have eight seats. You know, you need to disappear. Do what you need to go. Go practice law like Wendy Williams said. You know what I mean? Like, he's doing the most. He's harassing his family when he knows Tamar has mental issues because he dropped her off at a mental health facility and he drove her to the, to the mental health facility too as well. So, she, he knows that she has issues. So, why are you poking the bear when you know that she has issues? It seems like you have issues too as well and you got problems and you need to go seek help and leave Tamar alone. You done already got your fan. You've been on Instagram. People know your name. Now bounce. Disappear. Go. Tamar is still trying to protect David. And that says a lot about her character. That really says that she's a good person because she doesn't want the world to bring down David. And she always said that she didn't want to go to the police. She didn't want to press charges. She didn't want to say anything bad about David and the public because she knew what type of scrutiny he would get. But he still didn't care. He was out here every chance he got to say something negative about Tamar or speak on her behalf like if he was her husband. Or like if he was her power of attorney. Like miss me with all that. So you guys tell me what you think about the situation. But hopefully Tamar does not get back with David. Hopefully she let she let David go for real, for real. But he may still have some control over her because he have made her feel inferior and also made her feel like he's a gift and he can change her life and she needs him. And that's how he made her think and making her feel like she was inferior and the way that she was raised in her background is so damn just terrible and where he comes from and how he was raised is the way you're supposed to be and he could be a great role model for her and her son so she's still under the spell or she just doesn't want people to dog him out because she still cares for him point blank period